for what seems like the 100th time this month. I'm telling you, we're back for another match day vlog. It's another match day for Wrexham FC. And before we get going, I just want to say, if you're looking for all the best Wrexham FC content on YouTube, get down there, click the subscribe button. You've smashed the support recently. We're on the road to 14,000 subscribers. We're just under 600 away. So if you are new, get down there and subscribe now. And I just want to give a huge mention and a huge shout out to all my worldwide viewers. I feel like I don't say this enough, but I cannot thank everyone who is either in the UK based or is from any country across the world. I find it crazy that you continue to watch my videos and just find it crazy that you've stumbled upon me sitting here talking to a camera. So I cannot thank you enough from wherever you watch around the world. Honestly, it means a lot. This time we do take on Dorking Wanderers at the racecourse ground. Dorking obviously aren't on the best of form of late. I believe they're 19th in the National League table and Wrexham currently sits second. So although I'd say it should be a routine win on paper, I can't see it being easy, especially after the last couple of games we've had. And yeah, as always, let's get down to the racecourse ground. Fingers crossed we can see the new signing Ryan Barnett play today. I believe the club sent off the paperwork to the National League to allow him to play today. So whether they allow that or not, we don't know. Fingers crossed they do. And yeah, as always, let's get down to the racecourse ground. Up the Reds. <laughs>
Right, it's finished at the racecourse ground. Wrexham 3, Dorking Wanderers 1. Definitely not as good as we could have played. I think we could have played a lot better. But for our three goals, I thought they were three incredible strikes. Mullin with his weaker foot. Elliot Lee, incredible long shot. Sam Dolby did really well on the solo run to finish it off. Obviously made a few changes earlier than what we've seen so far this season. But it's totally understandable with a huge game coming up at home to Chesterfield on Tuesday night. It was good to give those players rests, which is obviously really vital for us going into a big game like this. I'd have probably given it a match rate in a like 2 out of 5 or so. It was quite poor, but my man of the match, Andy Cannon, ran the show in the midfield. A good cameo on why he should start on Tuesday night against Chesterfield, and I think he will start against Chesterfield on Tuesday night alongside Luke Young and Elliot Lee. And as always, if you did enjoy the match today vlog, make sure to subscribe to the channel with the bell notification turned on, and I'll see you in the next video, whether that be before Tuesday night or on Tuesday night for our big game against Chesterfield. Hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll see you in the next one. Up the town.